and we're back. <laughs> All right, so uh, last time we awakened to some demonic powers. Uh, now we uh, gotta go to bed. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. <clears throat> We're trying to pretend like all that was a dream. But was it? The answer is no. And we're back here in the velvet room. What do you want, Igor? About time you've come to. Oh, hush you. On your feet, inmate. Yeah, the yeah. Master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. I'll think about it. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Hooray, reunion, yay, party. Oh, you've awakened to your powers and special ones at that. If you mean the me setting myself on fire to summon a demon, then yes. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. What did I do? Rehabilitation. I forgot you had to use the D-pad. <clears throat> yes, but uh, why not get out of the way? You know. You will be training the power of persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. Basically, just like different use in a different situation, like how you talk to your best friend, how you would talk to your teacher, how you would talk to your boss. You know, you kind of put up a different face most of the times when uh, going about that. I have high expectations for you. Uh, you're going to be let down real quick. That is not my concern. Ah, I need, need bold guts for that. I'm going to stay silent. You have no choice but to hone your strength. Says you. It's not because we're forcing you, but because this is your fate. Neglect it and you will die. Well, this is kind of a loaded choice. By the by, have you come to appreciate the metaverse navigator? I'm guessing you're talking about the eyeball on my phone. Uh no, I've not appreciated it, but now that I'm forced to use it. Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. Was that? Alright, I'm getting a lot of early game Persona 5 confused here, but did he just off the bat call them palaces? I don't remember. Actually, the more I think about it, I think he may have. I mean, it's an app on my phone. I've deleted it three times, if that's what you mean. Ah, uh, well, there goes my, uh, my ability to become a retail manager. It must be disheartening. Can't really be a thief and that at the same time, can I? I am I kidding? One sec. Uh, great. Kind of forcing this on me here, Igor. I would have enjoyed it more if you had not drugged me into this uh, this other place. I had another strange dream, feet, an awakening. <laughs> uh, it only makes me laugh because I've just been playing Fire Emblem Awakening and Fates. More importantly, I need to hurry and get ready for school. We're going to be on time this time. Open. Let's get out of here. Seriously? What was the What was the conductor thinking charging into the station at top speed like that? Didn't you hear the guy totally lost it? It's been happening a lot lately. All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going on? Well, between the economy sucking and how depressing the news always is, it's not all that surprising. It's more real than you know. 
game. Why? Why you gotta be real like that? <laughs> uh. Look, isn't that her? Huh? Oh, new scene here. Hello. You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. Hello. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? That's a good question there. Hmm. Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. Oh, dude, really? Wow, what speed. I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Yeah, seriously. Oh, and to sleep he goes. Want me to wake him up? It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right. As the thought that counts. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Wow. Not at all. I train plenty. Trying to please everyone, huh? Hello. Thank you so much for earlier. I had no big deal. With what? For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. A first year, hmm. Thinking you totally Who could back on the train and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Who could this mysterious girl totally be? Please excuse me. Alright, well, later. See you at school, or not, since we're different years. The likeliness of that may be low. <clears throat> Made it to Shujin. On time this time. We did it! Class is starting. Uh, the social studies teacher, Mr. Ushimaru. You all look like you've been spoiled growing up. Can't wait to see who disappoints me the most this year. Man, these teachers, like, are, on um, like, brutally honest with their students. I wonder if only, if it's only, like, select schools, or... Hmm, yes. What's the answer? Tell me, what's the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race? Hold on now. This is new. What is what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know about experience. I don't know intelligence. Money? I'm gonna go with money. Hmm. Do you know ah! Didn't expect you to know. Malefactors or villains, remember that. I didn't think it was going to be so simple. Sure, villains can affect the course of history, but remember that this definition is a sardonic witticism, nothing more. Here in the real world, villains don't push humanity forward. All they do is spread chaos and strife. Well, crap. This is going to be good. They changed up the questions. We don't have any room for criminals here. Not in school and not in society. Am I clear? Why do I get the feeling that is more pointed towards me? I'm being targeted. By the teachers. This is discrimination, I tell you. That girl in the ribbon is really thin. Is she a first year? Why are they talking about her thinness? Okay, there's some ones about me. So now we're both the talk of the town. Hey there, Takamaki. Uh, hey. All those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. <clears throat> that totally sounds like she's dodging him. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. 
Mm, you must be lonely too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. Hey, I'm right here, you know. He's got a criminal He's... record after all. If something were to happen to you. If you just turn your head slightly to the left, you would see me. Thank you. Please excuse me. <laughs> nice dodge out of there. Yeah. Someone's not happy. Good. Yo. Oh. Hey, Ryuji, what up? You waiting to ambush me? Who are you again? You waiting to ambush me, man? Ambush? Come on, don't say shit like that. Anyways. What's up? I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. Ah. Uh, we agreed it was going to be a dream, right? I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. <coughs> it's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. Everything seems to be related to him. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? Well, I mean, we were the ones to go in together. Anyone else you told that story to would just imagine you are on drugs. And dogs. Eh, it was just a dream. I'm out. Sure, what's next? Nice! <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. Sounds like a plan. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we're going to notice a castle here. Yuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably just go along with this. <clears throat> Sorry. Still clearing my throat. Still allergy this season. After all. Like that really exists. I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? I couldn't tell you, man. I am a transfer you student, after all. Here, right? One sec. Uh, maybe. When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. I mean, I'm still new here. Everything is the same. All right. Everything is confusing, I man. Okay. And back to school. We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Nope. Uh, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Uh, great. Let's try again. This is feeling more like a needle in a haystack situation. Further we go into this. this time. Let's go. All right. Second try, and it's a failure. Third time's the charm, huh? <coughs> Yep. Is it smaller than we think it is? <laughs> it's a castle. What do you think? Uh, check on your phone. I already did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. <laughs> Just type in, you know, castles near Shujin Academy. Huh? Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a <laughs> Google then rejects your <laughs> search engine, <laughs> refers you to. <laughs> Refers you to a mental, mental institution. Navigation app. What are you talking about? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Must have missed that. Let me see your phone for a bit. Hey. Say off. Stay off my browsers. All right. That is my one condition. Can't delete it. Cute logo, huh? That's not how I describe <clears throat> it. What a weird app. Oh wait, this is it. <laughs> Stay off of my Pokemon Go app. I will not have you interfere with my progress. I knew it. It is a navigation app. There's even your search history. Uh I know a lot of people <laughs> that would <laughs> that would turn blue in the face when they heard that. Point one for Ryuji. I don't know how. Then I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know why. Something about the something about uh, that reading of pervert just makes me laugh. Then we went in a certain direction and and looks like we don't have to walk. What, you... huh? what the hell? What's going on, man? I think I'm tripping balls. And back we go. Back to Disney Castle. Oh man, look at my duds. It's the castle from yesterday. Big old doors. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. I am a master changer. Do not disrespect the art. That happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? <laughs> you jelly. I, I ain't jealous. <laughs> the stutter gives it away. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey. Oh, hey Morgana. Hey Morgana. One sec. You? Hey, the little mascot. The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. You sure it wasn't the rock band that just left here? To think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? <laughs> Quite the conversion, I'd say. That's right. But it's a castle. This castle is the school. Get ready for it, folks. But only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? The ruler being Kamoshida. I think you called him Kamoshida? There he is. It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Yep. Explain it in a way that makes sense. I mean, that's pretty sensible to me. I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? Uh oh. What was that? Uh, son, I don't want to find out. It must be the slaves captive here. Slaves, huh? For real? Slaves in a castle. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. So Ryuji's plan is to go and find those prisoners and release them. Must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You're telling me. I mean, this castle is quite large. You would have to scream pretty loudly for him to hear you. Doing that is <clears throat> to open it, you know. Yeah, no. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona. <laughs> Mona Mona. It's Morgana. Get it right. Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, why me? I just want to get a better look at your powers. Even if you don't agree. I bet this guy will go on even if he has to do it alone. Are you going to leave him? Totally. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. One sec. I wouldn't leave Ryuji. But it's settled then. Okay. For real? Silence is a yes then. Thanks, man. Alright, let's do this. Follow me. <laughs> I wish there was one of those like silly game over silly game over situations, kinda like I don't know, Super Paper Mario. That's the first one that comes to my head. Where if you say no enough times it just game's over. Back to the title screen. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. 
Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. All right, in we go. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. Ah, it's all good. I had nothing, to, I had nothing better to do anyway. But I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Calm it down, man. It'll be fine. We'll get to punch him later. Really though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. I'll hold you to it. You don't tell me something like that. I will hold you to it. Akira never forgets. This place is or Ren. As mm -hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say. All right? Do we have to run with frilly feet? Because, you know, that's kind of awkward for us. Hmm. Uh, hey, we went by here when we came in the front. Uh, I was seeing double our son just now. Was that Shujin? I've told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have the time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up. Come on, this way. And those freaking dogs. It's one thing for the birds, but the dogs? Mm-mm. Birds don't have an owner that can tell them to shut up. Alright. Uh, can't do that yet. There's a guard. Let's go fight him. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be guards here. I mean, I would imagine there would be guards everywhere if he could help like it. We're going to have to start fighting our way forward. All the better for me. Uh, for real? Ah, come on, don't be pansies. Let's do it. Stab him. Better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack them behind. Yes, rushing everywhere can have its <laughs> very dire consequences. To rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. Always want to aim for that. Attacking enemies when you attack a nearby enemy by pressing X, a battle will begin. Watch for a red icon to appear when you are in range. Yep, that is your little sign. There's a little mechanic I'll get into later when they bring it up. If you approach and approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, an ambush icon will appear. Attack at that moment for an edge in battle. So I want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. Yes, but it's good to keep him informed. But anyway, let's go. All right, let's do it. Do it. Oh. Hang on now. <laughs> this is a new music piece. This is Takeover, isn't it? What happened to the other one? So are they not going to play that anymore? I'll be honest, I am perfectly fine with that. Cleave. All right. Ooh, level up. Yes. Level four. I love the animation when you win a battle. Oh my god. If that music piece is playing in every battle that we get into, my god, future me, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get into every battle I can now. Why ain't anyone here? That's a good question. We got moved. Quiet down. Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. Hey, hey, hey. no running off on your own. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap! I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. You know, when I first played this game, I thought this was a like a further. I know this is technically a further in point, but like further, further, further in, and then he had to run back and after hearing stuff. And here's the introduction. Oh wait. Oh, it's all Ripley. Oops. 
and welcome to safe rooms. These are basically areas where the enemies will not be. You can save here, and at a later point, you can do something else. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. And it's a classroom, because Kamashita is the it's gym teacher, which means he doesn't really have much control over, you know, actual classrooms. Now, do you understand? This yep. place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. Uh, don't worry. You won't learn later on anyway. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. Hmm, someone else call this a palace. But I can't remember who. I think it was in a dream. Ah, well. Palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So, it became like this because he just thought of it like that? Uh, somewhat. <laughs> I mean, that is the, like, superly oversimplified version. <laughs> that son of a bitch! Calm down. I must really hate this Kamashita guy. <laughs> oh my god, what was that line from Batman Beyond? Uh, line starts with me. Uh, line starts with me and wraps around the block. Twice. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. Get used to all of Ryuji's swearing. Ryuji does not have a filter. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it too. Ah, uh, you're just jealous. I got some sick threads. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. Yep. A school can turn into a castle like this after all. Yep. In order to prevent such distortions. One must hold a powerful will of rebellion. But, I mean, I'd imagine Ryuji holds a powerful will of rebellion. But, A, he's not like me, but he's also not B. So, here, this brings up a question. Like, say if we bring, like, Joe Schmo in here, would he distort because, he, like, he doesn't have a powerful will of rebellion? is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. So this is why picture rebellion looking like. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this. I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? He's a cat. I'm a human. An honest to God human. He's a cat man. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is well, it's because I lost my true form. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Something else did this, didn't it? I know there's other things like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeons where you tur you're a human that turns into a Pokemon. I'm more like someone who... Because Morgana, we're going to learn, is an, ane an amnesiac. Um, think. There we go. But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. <laughs> I mean, you are on your own in that smallish body, and your persona only has wind skills, so you're kind of limited on that option. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. Let's get him. All together. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. Claw's eyes out. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. Hey, man, it's better than a comic book. It's anime. If we're gonna keep going, <laughs> we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Oh, you call me rookie now. I'm... Don't worry. I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... Ryuji's got a gun. It's a model gun, though, so it only oh, it's a model sense. gun. That's a toy. Which brings up a question that I'll ask later. But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. 
I mean, I guess, like, if sun looks real, like, if sun looks like a gun, you point it at someone, they're going to hesitate for a second thinking, that's a gun. Unless there's, like, some obvious watermark on the thing. Probably preparing? So you were planning this from the start. Uh, sounds like it. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. I do it. And we got the Tkachev. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Interesting how it has a name, though, despite it just I'm being a toy. Is making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. Shut up, um. One sec. Uh, so Morgana is talking about one of the things you can do in safe room, and that's oh, basically hold a meeting. But you know, it's only really two of us fighting. Mm, damn it. <clears throat> yep. Well. If Morgana doesn't work the shifts. But yeah, can't do anything right now since you know there's only really two of us. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to it. Now. Oh, hello. Oh, for goodness sakes. I just told you to shut up. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I thought I just heard some move over there. Guess it was my imagination. One of the slaves. They're all in the training hall. I'd assume they're screaming in pain by now. Very well. By the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. I right, agree. Someone squealed. Yep. God's sake. Say a train hall, right? I think that's a little further ahead. Let's go. To the train hall. Huh? <gasps> there's a guard. Oh, there's a guard on duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. Oh great. So uh, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Yep. Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. Yep. The security level. When you're spotted by an enemy, the security level rises. This is shown on a gauge in the upper left. As the security level rises, it will become more difficult to investigate the palace, so be careful. Uh, and what do we do if that happens? Run away? Yeah, you are forced to leave. We'll go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. Not really. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? So yeah, um... While, while your security level is at 0%, you have some time to run up to them. Well, oh! Oh, we do get the normal music. Aww, I want to take over. I have a theory about that then. Ow. Garu. Ow. Oh, come on. I actually didn't mean to hit attack as I kind of accidentally pressed X button there. Uh oh. We're not doing too good. Aha. Oh, I wish it was like Smash Brothers and they did linger. Cleave. Strong physical. So yeah, normally... Okay. Oh wait, what? When did, why are we at 30%? I haven't been noticed. Like, I did run up to that one guy, but still. This is okay. weird. Turning all up ahead, right? Yeah, it's a little further. Make sure you watch out for any guards along the way. But yeah, um, normally when you're at 0% uh, on the meter, you have a bit of leeway with running up right to them and you know, taking them out. Uh, like, taking their mask off. Like an intruder. <laughs> no, nobody yet. 
Not yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then right. What do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. Yep. I I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. Uh, don't sell yourself short, Ryuji. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yep. Yeah, looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. All right, so we're about to get into my question from earlier. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemy. So Morgana is about to teach us about using guns in battle. Why wasn't he thinking of that earlier when we were in the safe room? What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Whatever. Let's get him. Don't worry. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Hey, I have a name. Let's do it. It's not going to fire anything. Hello. You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. Will do. Gun attacks. Gun attacks are considered gun skill. Press up on the D-pad to ready your gun and then X to attack. You can continue shooting until you run out of ammunition. You can also change targets between shots with left and right on the D-pad. So yeah. We got a gun. We have ammo for it. So we got to be a little conservative. But I'm not too worried with this opening section. How about that? Surprise. There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Yep. Of course, you can run out of ammo. But using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. Gun properties and ammo restrictions. Guns have a higher attack power than melee weapons, but they have a limited amount of ammunition. However, your ammunition, ammunition will be restored after the battle. Wait, what? That's not right. Will be restored after the battle? All right, I'll show you my weapon too. Did they seriously just give us unlimited, basically unlimited ammo? Took that out easily. All right, well, that lowered the. For real? Did that toy gun just shoot real freaking bullets? Yes, and it's all thanks to a little world called, little word called cognition. Basically, you know everything that's been happening so far. Whatever, kind of just like if you think it's real. It is real in this world, kinda. Listen to this. You recognize it as a gun, your ammo capacity is limited in battle. But your enemies are expecting you to come at them when the gun's loaded, so your ammo replenish in every new fight. Why did they change that? Oh, hello, this is different. This is Okay. One Mandrake. Go on, dump it into the enemy. <laughs> Great word choice there, Morgana. Yeah, they totally... That's weird. Fire. why did they do that? I mean... Okay, so... What happened in the original is... Every trip to the metaverse refills your gun. But in a single trip to the metaverse, once you run out of ammo, you are out until you leave the metaverse. I mean, it makes sense what he's saying. Like, different people would be expecting the gun to be fully loaded. I am sick of that dog, so one moment. So yeah, now we're... I wasn't sure whether or not to bring it at first, but I'm sure glad I did. We're definitely lucky to have the additional firearm in our arsenal. I must say, well done, even if it was just dumb luck that I worked here. Alright, let's, uh... Oh. 
As you can see, there are quite a lot of enemies that are being... Hmm? Oh, finally. So Morgana is now explaining, Hey, you can either let me keep doing my own thing, or you can tell me exactly what to do in battle. Party tactics! Hooray! What do you want to do? What's the plan? Want me to follow orders or acting on my own? Here's the thing, in the original Persona 3, Persona th and Persona 3 FES, party members always did things on their own. You can only change like how they went about it. But in 3 Portable, 4, 4 Golden, 5, and here, you can tell them exactly what to do. Thank God. Direct commands. 